Crackle, pop, boom! That is the sound of cavitation destroying your propeller. That might sound overly dramatic, but cavitation poses a major danger to propellers. Collapsing cavitation bubbles release tiny bolts of extremely violent energy. That energy means death for your expensive propeller. So today we discuss the best solution to cavitation. Avoid it. How does this mystery of disaster work? Well, cavitation occurs when small air bubbles form against a propeller blade. See, the bubbles form because the water actually boils. We know that the boiling temperature of water will change depending on the pressure. Take a pot of water to the top of a mountain and it boils at a lower temperature than it did at sea level, all because that pressure is lower. Propellers, incidentally, lower that water pressure intentionally. They do this to generate lift. Catch is, lower the water pressure too much and the water can boil at ocean temperatures. It'll create thousands of tiny little air bubbles that form against the surface of the propeller blade. But these bubbles don't last very long. And when they collapse, it works like a tiny explosion against the propeller blade. If your propeller has major cavitation, it has to endure the equivalent of thousands of tiny micromines exploding every minute of its life. So cavitation is bad, and it arises from large changes in pressure at the propeller. But a propeller does not create a single uniform pressure field. The pressure varies along the propeller blades and the root due to many interacting parts of the propeller geometry. For this reason, we classify the different types of cavitation uh, based upon the section of the propeller that generates those bubbles. I'm going to focus on two major types of cavitation, bubble cavitation and sheet cavitation. Bubble cavitation shows up as some small region of damage in the middle of the propeller blade. Now, the key here is it's a small region that's clearly isolated from the rest of the blade. This occurs due to uneven pressure distributions along the blade. Somehow, some section of the propeller created an excessive pressure loss, resulting in cavitation. Now, this might occur due to interactions with the vessel hull. See, the hull also creates an uneven flow of water that enters the propeller. Some radial sections along the propeller have a faster inflow than others. And with those uneven flows, one section of the propeller may generate greater suction than intended, resulting in bubble cavitation. And if you're suffering major problems from this, I'm afraid the only real solution is get a new propeller. Sheet cavitation, on the other hand, occurs across the entire outer face of the propeller blade. Small amounts of sheet cavitation are acceptable. This would be only about 5 to 10% of the blade area when I say small, and concentrate around the tips of the blade. Sheet cavitation signals that the propeller itself, the entire thing, is trying to generate too large of a pressure drop. You're trying to fit too much thrust into too small of a blade area. There are really only two possible solutions to that. Increase the propeller diameter or increase the blade area. Either way, you're looking at changing the propeller blade. Super cavitation! <laughs> yes! If you can't beat it, use it! For high-speed vessels, sometimes cavitation is unavoidable. The propeller simply must pack a high thrust into a small area. These specialized cases call for super cavitating propellers. Now, the super cavitating propeller does not prevent cavitation. Instead, it guarantees cavitation, but more importantly, it guarantees it in a predictable pattern. So remember, the cavitation is only dangerous when the bubble collapses. A super cavitating propeller works carefully to ensure that the bubble never collapses until it leaves the propeller blade. These propellers show a distinctive wedge shape when viewed in cross-section. That wedge-shaped cross-section means that the pressure continues to drop as the bubbles travel across the blade face. If the pressure keeps dropping, the bubbles never collapse until they leave the propeller blade. The propeller remains safe from cavitation damage, even though it's causing lots of cavitation. Treat cavitation like any other natural disaster. If you understand it, you can avoid it. 
Careful propeller design limits cavitation to only minor levels of sheet cavitation. Armed with this video, you will now be able to recognize the various signs of cavitation and what they mean. Forewarned is forearmed. Don't let cavitation destroy your next propeller. Thanks very much. I'm Nick the Naval Architect. Yes, we have reached the part of the show where I ask for tips. So please hand me your tips. In this case, I just need you to click that little subscribe button. Subscribe.